Hi everybody, for those who doesn't know me, my name is Caio and I'm the creator of the project Beyond the View. What is Beyond the View? Beyond the View is a project that investigates some phenomenology, some weird stuff that happens around us and sometimes we do not notice. Same phenomenology that sometimes influence or get our lives changed profoundly. A few years ago, uh, I had an idea. Why not to investigate this? Because in our daily lives, sometimes we are so busy that we don't pay attention for some synchronicities that happen around us. And sometimes they mean something to us. So, here we are. And today the subject is going to be our reality. What is our reality? Most of the times we ask ourselves, what is reality? Reality is what we see, what we perceive with our eyes, we, with our uh, sense, or is something beyond that. So today we're going to investigate this subject. What is reality? And reality, sometimes it's not just what is around us, but what is inside our mind, in our consciousness. So, reality is something much, much bigger. And I'm going to try to divide this subject in several parts, because reality is something so complex. Today we're going to be talking about time. Time is a subject that has been discussed for a long time in religion, philosophy, even in science. But even science cannot explain what time really is. We feel its effects in our lives. We get old and things, they happen in sequence. But is time a linear line, a straight line? For those who study quantum physics nowadays, we can see time is something beyond this idea. Time is not something that goes from the past to the future, but the past, the present and the future, maybe, all these things, they happen, happen now. So time is like an ocean that has different currents fl flowing inside this ocean. We have warm currents, we have hot currents, we have co uh, cold currents, and each current of, of this ocean that forms this vast ocean of time it's in a different reality, in a different time cycle. So it depends which reality we are in, a, in this physical world or in another world. Our time cycle differs from the other realities. In this way, let's see, what is really time? Many of us, at some point in our lives, end up wondering if there is anything beyond death or a reality beyond ours. But what is a reality? The reality, according to the philosophers, like Adam and Russell, can be everything outside and inside our mind. But when we look around, we still see that the reality outside of our consciousness is not only what we see. There are realities that go beyond visible light. In the electromagnetic spectrum, we perceive only a very small part of it. Throughout human history, man has always sought, through various technologies, to broaden his perception of our reality, or about the world we are inserted. In the past, shamans used the use of hallucinogenic plants to reach a reality that's beyond our physical world. Nowadays, we see this broadened search through the use of instrumental transcommunication, known by many as EVP, electronic voice phenomenon, sometimes. It is the use of electronic equipment such as radio, telephone, computer and television to try to capture these other extra dimension realities in image and sound. We still see the presence of phenomenology such as channeling communications where we have people giving communications of spirits and even aliens coming from these other realities that science does not acknowledge their existence. Well, 
talking about science, we must always remember that when the subject is cosmology or even theoretical physics, we are referring to conjectures as well. But why conjecture? Because we can expose several ideas in theoretical physics and cosmology about our reality, about our universe. But at the end of the day, we cannot prove many of these ideas, can we? In practice, but only in mathematical equations. Talking about reality, choosing time, in order to begin our journey, let us ask ourselves a very old question. What is time? There are many concepts in physics that are explained and mathematically proved, but there are as many as the time and space that, up to now, neither physics, nor philosophy, nor religion has been able to define what they are, but only their effects. According to Einstein, time is relative and is closely correlated with space. In fact, space and time in Albert Einstein's relativistic view should be considered as a single element so that we can maintain a constant speed of light for all uniformly mobile observers, regardless of their state of motion relative to an observed event. That is, space and time are relative and depend on the movement of the observer who measures them. In fact, this idea was not proposed by Einstein at the beginning of his theory. Einstein did not quite finish the job, however. Contrary to the popular belief, he did not draw the conclusion that space and time could be seen as components of a single four-dimensional space fabric. That insight came from Hermann Minkowski, who announced it in a 1908 lecture with the dramatic words, henceforth space by itself and time by itself are doomed to fade away into mere shadows, and only a kind of a union of the two will preserve an independent reality. Four-dimensional Minkowski space-time. It's often pictured in the form of a two-dimensional light cone diagram with the horizontal axis representing x and the vertical x time. The walls of the cone are defined by the evolution of a flash of a light passing from the past, lower cone, to the future, upper cone, through the present, origin. All of the physical reality is contained with this cone. The region outside, elsewhere, is inaccessible because one would have to travel faster than light to reach it. The trajectories of all real objects lie along word lines inside the comb, like the one shown here in red. The apparently static nature of this picture, in which history does not seem to happen, but it's rather right there, has given writers and philosophers a new way to think about old issues involving determinism and free will. Evolution of a flash of light passing from the past, lower cone, to the future, upper cone, to the present origin. All, the, all of the physical reality is contained with this cone. Einstein initially dismissed Minkowski's four-dimensional interpretation of this theory as superfluous learnedness. To his credit, however, he changed his mind quickly. The language of space-time no technique as tensor mathematics proved to be essential to his theory of general relativity. The mathematical way of thinking surely had helped Minkowski to realize that if two observers in relative motion have different times, they necessarily must have different space as well, which is not possible in a three-dimensional world, but in a four-dimensional world with time as the fourth dimension. The universe is a fourth dimensional world, with time as the fourth dimension. According to quantum physics, the future changes our past. If we observe experiments performed through quantum physics called quantum entanglement, we will see that, regardless of distance and time, two entangled particles influence each other even if they are located in opposite places in the universe and at different time cycles as well. According to the theory, the block universe. The past, present and future already exist. Time is not linear. Time does not flow like a river, but in fact is an ocean, with several currents flowing different directions. Well, there is even an interesting experiment done by a friend of mine a few years ago. Uh, 
this friend of mine, he had a group of uh, scientists or engineers, they were testing uh, some equipment to talk to these other realities, electronic equipment to talk to reality beyond our, maybe reality in another dimension or in another time cycle. The ex experiment was really interesting because one of the researchers, he had this ability to do astro projection. Astro projection, for those who doesn't know, is the ability to leave the body, the physical body, and with the spirit or your uh, less dense body or astral body, go to another reality. And the experiment uh, was made in a way, one of these researches, he had to contact from another reality these other beings. And from this reality, try to record his voice in our physical tape recorder here in our reality. The experiment was done. And they check when they finished the experiment. Because according to the research, he said, look, I went to this reality and uh, I was able to talk to these beings and they helped me to record my voice in the tape recorder. So let's see if we can find out my voice in one of these tapes. So after the experiment, they checked the tapes from the next following day, the other day, the whole week, but there was no voice. So they told to each other, maybe the experiment was wrong or it failed. But the, the researcher said, no, it's not possible to fail because I was there, I could see the tape record. I left my message. And this guy was very well, well known to have this good ability to do astro projection and influence our physical reality from that helm while he was sleeping and projecting his consciousness outside his body. But what happened? For their amazement, what happened is, when they forgot the whole thing, the experiment, they were checking some tapes, they were made before the date that the experiment was done, something like one month before. Guess what happened? The voice of the researcher, the one that did the astral projection, was in the tape. One month before the experiment or happened, or one month before they have an idea to do the experiment. So what conclusions they reach with this experiment? They reach the conclusion that time doesn't flow in a way we think it flows. Time is not a, a straight line. Time is like an ocean. And depend what consciousness focus, it resonates in this time or in another time or in another reality. Reality, they change according to the time cycles. So what they realize, maybe these other realities, some, some people they call the spiritual words, they vibrate, they resonate, they, their time cycle is different. So it's completely different from ours. So that's, that's why sometimes the transcommunication, the communication using electronic instruments, they are, it's very difficult to achieve, to be achieved. Because these realities, they, they, their time flows in a different time cycle in relation to our time. I hope you like it. So, we're going to carry on with this subject in a new video in here in our project, Beyond the View. Bye everybody, see you next time.